Hi guys and welcome back to this episode here at Mod Studio. So this will be a tutorial on how to convert your VFX tree to a game ready asset. This will be a spin-off tutorial from the Palm Tree tutorial. If you haven't checked that out, link in the description down below. So this will be just a short tutorial on how to use the Leaf Map Maker to create our textures and optimizing our leaf cutout meshes to suit our needs for our game ready tree so without any further you guys let's dive in so guys here we are in speed tree um this is from the palm tree tutorial if you haven't checked that out link in the description down below so the first thing is we'll be optimizing the leaves at the top because the trunk at the bottom is already optimized it has its lod levels and as well goes for the mid section of the trunk as well as its LOD levels. So we'll be saving this file as, as a game ready tree as you can see right over here. So just save that on your disk as a second one. So now we'll be saving this again to create our, we'll be using the leaf map maker to create our optimized leaf shaders for our game so let's take this, let's save this as, let's just save this as something leaf map maker there we go let's just quickly set this out what we'll be doing is let's delete everything at the bottom here we don't need any of these okay and in the branch system right over here let's just set this to one and one okay now in our scene let's right click here add geo let's go down to trunk okay and let's select the tube and there we go so now all we need to do is just add this to the trunk tube now we have our leaf strand right over here but now you're asking how are we going to use this how are we going to extract the leaf from this okay so now let's just quickly make this just one green leaf uh just quickly select this i think it's the one right over here let's just add that to the front there as well this disable the seasons right over here and let's max this out okay so now we need to extract the texture from the top so what we can do is just Press in your middle mouse key, double click that and double click into the XY plane at the top. Okay, so now let's go over to the first set of branches right over here and let's just go to the generation tab. Let's scroll down and let's rotate this 90 degrees. So it's in the middle. Okay, so let's zero everything out here. Let's go into the spine and let's zero out the late noise. Really everything straight let's go to the to the gravity let's zero this out as well so it's perfectly straight as you can see let's double click in the mouse and now let's angle this straight let's zero this out or max this out disable this and just this angle this straight out okay so now we need to disable the the gravity on these ones because we want everything flat so that the leaf map maker can project it downwards so otherwise it will capture this but we don't want this we want to create this within the the uh, leaf mesh that we're going to be using for our optimized game asset so let's select these okay and in the spine let's go over to the gravity and let's disable this zero everything out max this out so let's double click the middle mouse wheel button go into the top view right over here okay so now let's find our region that we'll be using to extract the leaf map from so let's go over to the window properties right over here let's scroll down where we see screenshot safe frame let's show this so now you get this little red square right across this so let's just line up this little center one right over here give it some ample space and let's reduce the width to 720 okay so let's reduce these ones now uh let's go over to the nodes node interlinked so let's just reduce so it's not that much so let's work with the light go over to the front over to lighting and let's play with the parent puffiness okay so let's so we have the light shining from the top so let's double click on the viewport let's just go into this let's make sure everything is straight yeah let's angle this a little bit more there we go so double click again let's align this okay so now we have created the texture now we need to extract this out as separate textures to use in our game ready tree so let's go over to the file export material or f10 okay let's keep aspect ratio everything as default the same goes for 
down here you can name this as your own naming convention you have okay i'm just leaving this as default and press okay i'm just gonna save this over the ones i've already created okay just a side note before we do this let's just hide this middle stem uh, h on the keyboard so we only have these leaves protruding like this now okay so let's go to file export material and let's export this out i'm just gonna overwrite these ones i've already created just give this a few seconds to export okay and once it's done let's go and open up our game ready tree just give it a few seconds to open up okay streaming textures from disk okay so now let's create our optimized leaf shader here let's go just call it opt leaf okay press okay here okay and let's go over to the color tab right over here and just like it where you set your ready game ready level textures let's like this one in it will automatically as you can see automatically get those leds for us or the data channels so now we have our leaf map right over here so let's go over to the cutouts matches and let's create our new optimized leaf that we'll be using so let's align this right over there let's add a few points now this all depends on the complexity and quality that you would like. Let's add all these, let's add a few more points. Okay. So let's, for instance, make this our high poly one. Got a point right over there. Okay. So let's make this our high poly one. Let's remove a few. Just doing this real quick for you guys. Let's make this our mid poly one. Let's make this our low poly one. Okay, so let's pick this and go over to the materials. And now let's delete these and delete these ones as well. So we only sit with these. Okay, so now let's go and add our fronts right on top of these. Go to front, let's add those. So now we have our front system right over there. So now let's just drag our material on the fronts. So we have this going for us okay just one thing you guys need to set is go to, over to the settings tab right over here and just click the two sided material so we can see the ends so now we need to adjust the front where it begins and stops so go over to the geometry and let's scroll down where you see boundary let's amend the start the starting point so we have something where it is starting right about there okay so now we need to finesse this a little bit more. So what I like to do is just go into the skin tab right over here, go over to the blue curve. Sorry, let's just angle this. Let's go over to the blue curve and just add two few points right over here and let's just zero this out. And the same goes for the end point like so. So now they disappear completely. So now we're sitting at something like, for the total tree about uh, 37,000 points or vertices in this case versus the vfx tree that is about 550,000. so this is now more or less ready so now we just need to add a few more touches to the leaves just to make them a bit more real and uh, adhering to the gravity and such so let's select out these go to the material right over here into our leaf cutouts Let's edit this. So now we're going to use a new feature within Spewture that we can assign certain points on our leaf here to have a bit more gravity, a bit more drooping and such. So all we need to use is the selection and paint right over here at the top. Okay, let's create our first selection. Uh, amend the, bra uh, the brush size and the follow value. Okay, so let's create... We want this to be drooping downwards like so. Okay, so let's increase this a little bit more and let's apply this right on the edge. We want this gravity to be applied on these. So now let's amend this to everything here. Okay, let's do this a little bit easier. Okay, let's give this a triangle amount. And let's assign this to the high poly. Let's reduce this mid poly and for this one, zero so let's quickly call this done so now in the front generator right over here if we go to the settings here at the fold curl and gravity you will see now we're getting these um, gravity being applied only to those painted selected areas that we have if you don't want it to be this smooth and you want a more drastical uh, appearance towards the gravity side of things you can go into your um, 
the materials here go into the edit tab right over here and you can amend this you can go put this to erase let's erase some of this away for instance let's erase everything let's go again and mark make the fall off value just a little bit less so it's more abrupt uh just a bit more okay something like this so let's paint this in okay and let's apply this to the high poly medium and low poly okay so if we go into the fold now it's a little bit more abrupt yeah okay. let's give it a bit more gravity so but you can create different leaf maps so it's not this uniform on your model um you could just go over to your leaf map generator right over here and now you can introduce some dead leaves um shorter leaves and such and then export that out as a different leaf texture and re-import that into your game ready asset right over here so now as you can see we have a very optimized version of our vfx one it's not completely the same because of the uh, high poly value we have in our leaves in the vfx tree um, as you can see right here if you go to scribe it's very dense um, nanite can handle this with ease but um, it's always good to have a optimized version of your tree so all you can do is just refine this even more and extend this a little bit more out and so guys this is how you can convert your vfx tree into a game ready asset feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below and feel free to become a patreon member where you get exclusive content on the channel so stay safe and take care guys and i'll see you in the next one bye bye